Hello and welcome to Perfectly Mediocre. We're back in TGC Card Shop Simulator Prologue for a second look at this game. All right, they pop us in halfway across town there. Um, all right, so we've got cards stocked. We've got everything very well stocked there. $152 to our name, and we need to complete 65 checkouts. I'm hoping as our shop level goes up that we can grab some new things too and be able to, you know, like explore a bit more of what the game offers. I do like now that we have this table section in here that when people actually complete their order, a lot of times they'll walk over there, sometimes they'll play a game, sometimes they'll just observe, and then vice versa, some of the people playing will occasionally pick things up as they leave. So it's kind of nice, it keeps people around, it um, adds a little, I don't know, like life to the store. All right, on day four, it looks like we actually made some profit, which is positive, but we did have a couple of dissatisfied customers. Hopefully we can improve on that soon. Um, game earning, I'm not sure if that's actually the people playing games, I'm going to assume, which is making that our most profitable venture, if I'm correct. Um, card earnings are 11, item earnings, I'm assuming that's the the card packs are giving us 168, although that could be separate from, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what's what there, 100%. All right, so it looks like we're pretty well stocked. I want to open our album and go ahead and get a few of these things up for sale. Um, okay, I don't know if we have anything really of great value, but we could put a p couple of these. Um, okay, let me just close the album and do it this way. I find this easier to click the one that I want to put it on and then select one. Market price is $213. We'll make it $250. And I kind of wanted to look at a few of the other prices this way and make a few changes. Um, kind of try to increase the chances that some of these kind of less valuable cards will end up sold. I thought we marked this one down to four last time, but we're not getting much profit on these. Um, well, at least not much market value, I should say. We actually were doing all right on profit, but um, I think I'll make this one seven, probably 650 would be more accurate, but you know, just kind of uh, playing around the prices a little bit and see what we do. Um, let's see, we've got two of these, so oh, those are not very valuable, but yeah, we make something when we sell them off, so. That is only a nine cent value card. That would actually be almost a joke to me to have that on display in real life. Now we've got three of these, let's go ahead and sell one off. And we might as well go ahead and open up the store. Looks like the shelves are pretty decently stocked, so not too worried. We have $244. Um, and it looks like, again, our main thing is going to be these tables, but it's the checkouts that I need. Okay, now we're getting wow, gotta take one of these. So I think our prices are better than I thought they were. Um, the new prices are definitely working. They're not very valuable, but it's something. The downside is we gotta start playing with coins. I will say after watching some others play games like this, not this one in particular, but um, there are a whole slew of games in this range now. Um, it's definitely not me who struggles with keeping this from happening. I did want to take a look at our prices. I feel like 
market value has gone down a bit on them, I think. So I'm just going to adjust things a little bit. I'm going to make these 350, you know, adjust to the fact of what our customers want. I have no idea why I just jumped then, but hey, a little bit of excitement, you know? All right, let's make that not two, 12. <laughs> and we have a couple of open spots here, so we might as well toss some more cards in there. All right, market value, we'll just make it an even two. Oh, and another checkout. Picking up two at that price. We do have the money to now buy some dice. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I don't know if it tells us what we need to store that on. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that. Then I'm going to go into here. I'm going to assume the small shelf, which we don't have enough for. Um, let's see, can I pull some of these off the shelf? Um, yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna open some packs real quick. Oof, not a great set of value cards here, but at some point we'll get we'll get them all sent out. Let's hope this next one is better. Oh, not better, it was actually worse. One, well, there we go. Well, those three cards alone will probably make this the best value pack so far. Eh, actually, a little less than that one. The first one, I think, was six something? Or, oh, there we go. That was a decent one. Very nice. Okay. Not super high value, but I like these with the sparkles. They kind of, uh, yeah, I know there's a word for it, and it is escaping my brain at the moment. We get XP for opening these. I just realized that. Because um, we're now shop level 5. That was a first edition for 60 cents? That's kind of lame. Oh, we got a few customers we got to deal with. Whoa, hello. Got a little close. Sorry about that. Personal space. I'm sorry. Alright, you like our new prices for sure. All right, we gotta give you 29 in change. There you go. Thanks for coming. Ah, spending a whole 30 cents and you gave me $20? Why? Couldn't you just give me, I don't know, one of the ones? Apologies, I'm a little slow today. Hello, thanks for coming. Oh, trying to sneak a card in there, I see. All right. And 250 is your change. Thanks for coming. Oh, nice. You're going to be doing some fun pack opening. All right. 7550, please. Now, can I pull them from here and put them over here? Oh, there we go. It's kind of what I want to do is clear room for some of the dye here. Okay, we got room for one more there. Yep. There we go. Now I can go collect this. Oh, look at that. We got lots of people playing now. Now we'll set this down here. Um, okay, so we can only get eight on a shelf, but we have 16 of them. All right, market price is 24.45. I think I'm going to start at 30 and see how we do. It's quite a leap and I will probably go down from that, but it doesn't yeah, fair price on I think the cleaner. Can 
kind of curious to get feedback on the die. Dice, in this case, because there's multiple. I do like that if we've already established a price for something, that they keep it at that when you place another similar card. Oh, somebody's having fun tonight. $85. I think you are now officially my biggest order. Thank you. $628. There we go. We're finally seeing some profit around here. Okay, we need a level 6 shop to get this different type of shelf, which is the kind I'd like to have. So then we could start creating like rows and have... Um... Oh, I forgot to turn the lights on in here. Sorry about that. Um, I'd like to create rows and then have this probably placed next to me. Um, maybe move this a little bit closer to the door or angle it in a different way. Um, might not even mind having the window to my back so that I can look at the whole store more easily and then have the, you know, cards over here or even over here and line up the tables here. That would be nice too. I'm just gonna stick some cards back here for right now. Um, while I slowly rearrange things. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the next day. Do some of this. Okay, we have 10 dissatisfied customers. I have no idea what we're doing to dissatisfy people, but um, revenue is definitely looking better. All right, so definitely going to move things around here. Um, not set prices, we're gonna move now. I need some extra space, desperately. Okay, okay, that is as into the corner as they will let us go with this. All right, we have enough that I'm going to go ahead and get the license for the blue ones and order some of those. And we'll go ahead and get the license for the black ones as well and get those. We're gonna go ahead and purchase all of that. Now, I did also purchase table which should be out there or uh, another shelf so we've got that covered as well and kind of our slightly new arrangement um i think at some point we're probably going to need to expand a bit now this isn't exactly where i re really wanted to put the cash register but kind of was the best place for what we're doing all right i am going to drop the price of these down to 28. It's only like a $4 over marketplace value, but um, yeah. I'll probably do the same on these as well. And let's see, these, okay, these are less value. So I think I'll make these um, 22. It's still a pretty solid profit for us all around, but, you know, something a little different to offer as well. All right, let's open up shop and see how we do with the new selection. And I do like because I can now see the whole shop from here much more easily than before. I am kind of stuck in the corner, but okay, they're pretty happy with the prices. And I like that now that I'm here, they're also queuing up behind each other, which makes a whole lot more sense. Hey, we sold our first of the dice. Just when I got done talking about how nicely they line up for us, then they started doing that again. Some people just don't know how to make it a line. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. So then they can turn around and walk out the door, but you know. All right, cards are kind of starting to run out. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a couple. And we're gonna open them. has not been on our side very much with these cards lately. Oh, 
we have anything over a dollar fifty-five? Oh, there we go, three forty-six. Hardly something to get excited about, but would love to find a really big surprise in one of these. Six ninety-nine. That's our best so far. Okay, this has been our best pack so far. we have more cards to sell. I think this might be the biggest source of our unsatisfied customers is when I take a moment to get to checkout or some of the prices might have been a bit high for people. All right, we unlocked the license for the white dice, but we can't afford them just yet. I think we're gonna need more space before we actually use them as well. I am taking a look at our bills. Um, we can't afford to pay the rent we have three days to do that, but I am going to pay the electric and get that out of the way. So as soon as we have 250, we should make sure that we pay the rent. It looks like we're going to possibly end up in day seven trying to complete this task of 100 checkouts. I will say that there are definitely times when the game is a bit slow. There's, you know, there's a lot of time between checkouts sometimes. And you kind of feel like you don't have anything to do in those times, especially in these early stages when the shop doesn't exactly have a lot of stocking to do or anything like that. I wonder if I can place things underneath on here. It looks like it's got storage under there, but it does not look like I can place anything there. Okay, we have a customer and we only need one more checkout. Ah, uh, darn. They're going to play out there. Okay, we've only got 20 minutes. You think someone will buy something in that time? Come on, lady. Buy something. Be nice to finish the day with the task completed. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be nice. Nope. Time to start the next day. 42 dissatisfied customers? What am I doing wrong? I don't even feel like we had any comments to indicate they actually felt that the prices were fair. Um, we had lots of people playing. Um, I don't know. Not sure why everyone is so upset. Do we have anything as far as decoration? Okay, this is all full value, or full game stuff. Um, Reno Big, okay, so these are the expansions. Um, we have two lots, apparently, in the full version. Um, that's just my settings, so. Hmm. Yeah, two days to pay. Why do I have an electric bill again? All right. Um, I don't really have anything in here because that's all full version. Um, hmm. So not even anything to add decor or anything like that that might increase customer satisfaction. So I'm not sure what everyone is upset about. I feel like I'm doing a pretty decent job. Then again, you can't please everyone, but it sure be nice to please at least half of your customers. All right, and it looks like the task is completed, but we have not gotten a new one. I really thought we would there, but I think that might be kind of the extent of what we can cover in the demo. 
I really had hoped that we'd get some explanation for the stink or some way to deal with it. Um, I suspect that there is something in the future as a way to deal with that, but we'll have to see if we decide to take a look at that in the full release someday soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider taking a moment to paw that like button, comment to share your thoughts, and subscribe for more mediocre content like this. Until next time, remember, you are perfect just the way you are. Uh...